episode, we're taking you along on a trip to Von Donup Inlet, Cortez Island. Our friends Jeff and Wendy and their dog Coco came along on this adventure. This is the first weekend of October 2020 and we went away for two days and one night. We'd never been to this anchorage before and we were blown away with how beautiful it was. We can't wait to get back there next summer. Would we see tons of scenery and sea life and mushrooms and moss? Oh, and we even get treated to humpback whales in Whale Passage. But that's on the way home, so you'll need to watch all the way through to catch those. Von Donup Inlet is located on the northwestern tip of Cortez Island and can be entered from the northern Suttle Channel. This is a long, narrow, sheltered inlet and the area is managed by BC Parks. In the summer months, it's a popular anchorage for recreational boaters. But since we're here in October, there's only four boats in the entire inlet. We found a good spot to drop anchor and settled in. Off-season boating definitely has its perks. We get to pick anywhere we want to anchor and have tons of room to do so. We aren't always this lucky, especially in the summer. Lots of spots in Desolation Sound require stern ties and sometimes it's a tight squeeze. This was a breeze. We dropped Tink into the water and since we had two extra shipmates and a big salty sea dog, we added the kayaks to the sides to bump out our tender. It works. So it, it added a bridge for support for itself. Oh. And then it got to this point, and then it was like, okay, I'm going to oh, go yeah. over here. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> oh, no, and then it goes up. Yeah, and then it goes all the way up again. Wow. <laughs> it totally did it. It, like, bonded itself into that. Like, yeah. Oh, A squirrel midden. They so they go up the trees and then they eat and then the things come down or they pick them here and they eat them there. here, yeah. There was so much to explore on land in this anchorage. We really enjoy a spot where we can get off the boat and explore, especially with the dogs. They love a good hike. Also makes them better boat dogs. This marine park encompasses lakes, estuaries, a saltwater lagoon, and an old growth forest. We check them all out.
These are giant green sea anemones. They belong to the same family as jellyfish, coral, and sea pens. While they do move in slow motion, they are in fact carnivores and are considered predators, devouring small animals that get within reach of their tentacles. There was an abundance of sea stars here, which was really nice to see. I remember when I moved to the coast in 2006, I was obsessed with sea stars. They covered the sea floor, all different shapes, sizes, and colors. However, the past five years, the coast has been hit with sea star wasting disease, which has greatly reduced the population. But as you can see, this tidal pool has plenty of leather stars and okra stars. It's like asparagus. Yep. Yes. Well, that's really not a bonus for me then. No, you don't like it. <laughs> no. If you cook them up with uh, anything, they're like mm. garlic and... I actually like it. pepper and oil. <laughs> <laughs> that's salty. So I feel about it too. It's pretty salty. Yeah. If you soak them, you can get a bunch of the salt out. Yeah, too. you have so to what, rinse them. Like, can I pick a whole thing here or just like... Just go crazy, yeah. Well, I don't want to take all crazy. of it. I don't want to kill it. I just want to... So just... if you pick them like you're doing, they won't die. I don't want to cook it up. Yeah, you just right? break. You can the, even break. You can even just break them in half. Whole so thing down here. Yeah. yeah, and just leave the end, and then it'll grow back. And it'll regrow itself. Yeah, they grow we'll, back we'll put that in the fish tacos tonight. <laughs> When the light comes through, I know. Yeah. It's, yeah. Especially with the old man's beard. Yeah. How it glows, right? Yeah. I almost I touched it. Very much about it so. It's not Devil's Club. It's not, eh? No, Devil's Club is really sick. It is. But couldn't that be like a sweet, a young one? Big, like, the immature one? I think the colors are wrong. Oh, yeah. And the shape of the leaf and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, We've got a book. It's so mean. Like, we don't need this on the side of the trail. <laughs> boat for a nice dinner. Fish tacos and birthday cake for Wendy. We went to bed early that night as we usually do on the boat. <laughs> Not on the kayak. The girl. Then we got up in the morning and had a few more hours of adventuring before we had to pull the anchor and head back to Campbell River.
and then it says Squirrel Cove Loop. Our time in Von Donop Inlet was up. It was time to pull the anchor and head back to Campbell River. It takes about two hours to get home, a little longer if you go through whale passage and stop for whales. These were humpbacks. We're home sweet home, back to our moored spot at Coast Marina in Campbell River. Thanks for following along. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it down at the bottom. We'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, give that a try as well.